Armenia, SSR. We are preparing to invade Iran. Cancel. Actually, we probably should just leave this operation up because I'll be moving to the next. Yeah, let's just get a huge surplus of it. I'm supposed to get a huge surplus, might as well. And we're done with that, so let's go with that. Let's unpause the game and let it continue on. So I'm getting. Decent amount of political power. Ten world tensions dropped a lot because I guaranteed a lot of people. I wish I was the head of this faction in Russia. I actually have a larger population than my country that I'm in a faction. I wish I could ask him to be the head of the faction. Probably be like, nah, man. No, you can't do that. Why not? Powerful country. Russian power looks like 330 divisions. Yeah, fuck that. We're nowhere near that power, so I don't have the full population. longer before my war with Iran is justified. I'd love to take that extra 70 million people. A couple hundred thousand. Yeah, I think it's a couple hundred thousand I'll get. Mm. Manpower of a million. Armies, actually. It's actually pretty big. It's not the biggest in the world, but it's up there. It's close to the US. Actually, no, it's not that close to the US. It's probably one of the top militaries in the world. Strength and. in the capabilities. Has a smaller military, military than Russia does. It's where they have a huge air force. They have a decent fleet too. China, China, China. I know I could if I got into war with. I have war with the. Uh, North Korea being no, no competition, none, zero, I'd crush them, send them back to the Stone Ages, oh wait, they're already in the Stone Ages, huh, they're actually building up now, that sucks, I'm spending so much money on their military because I don't want to get invaded, no, they have nuclear weapons, so I wonder if they're going to make a shift into actually building up the country, economic sanctions from every world, Pretty much every world power except for China and uh, probably Russia too. See so why they'd have sanctions on them. See so why they'd do what the UN wants them to do, even though they're part of the Security Council. I don't know why the they don't the UN doesn't pressure China because they're on the Security Council. I think that one of someone that's part of the Security Council would also have to enforce the. 
rules of the sanctions that they put on countries? I guess not. The Security Council can pretty much do whatever it wants. The US has shown that shit. So let's... Let's... We're probably just gonna blitzer your... Iran. We're gonna blitzer him. We're gonna have any issue at all. Because they're under strength. They have, like, I don't think they have enough stuff to go around. They're producing more and more every day. I think it's crazy. They just don't have the production. I have to get crushed so hard. Ugh. It's not even gonna be. It's not even gonna be a, a competition. It's me really just pushing through them pretty much. So China, how, how, or India, how are you liking that? I'm actually boosting communism. Madagascar, Brazil, India, China, Republic of China. I'm boosting my ideology. So Taiwan, that means? Public of China. Oh, that's weird. Public of China. Uh, that's really weird. Why is it not called NATO? They're not called uh, Taiwan. It's part of NATO. That's not called Taiwan. That fucks the thing. Okay, well, they're part of China now, so kind of burning. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm going to pull my influence out of it. I don't know what I'm trying to do with that. Russia. My big brother. How much do I get from you? Well, I couldn't probably get kicked out of Russia. Get kicked out of the presidential house, however they run their politics there. It's really care. Uh, so, very, very soon I will be able to go to war from the land, manpower, and resources. Oh, sweet resources. Just the iron alone will, will be nice. There's a lot of iron. There's So we'll probably take Iraq. Maybe take Kurdistan. I have to see. I have to see what the tension is after I take Iran. If I have to, I'll guarantee like random countries just to get it down so I can take other countries. So once I feel like I'm ready for war with NATO, I'm gonna be ready for war with NATO. Because Turkey is gonna get smashed. Take Turkey. Anyone else who thinks they can pay me? Bye. The issue is NATO is huge. It's hard to make them. I mean, if we took out the US, if I was part of NATO and the US went down, I'd be like, oh, that's not how it works. Take out every single country. Honestly, Europe is going to be gone. Russia and me are just going to Quick, I bet smaller countries will join our side. I don't know who's gonna join whose side, but it's gonna it's gonna be chaos when it goes off. I'm hoping India and China will join us. Cause you know how like Japan's gone. It'll be gone quickly. The Republic of China now here? Gone. Gone quickly. South Korea? Gone quickly. If they join, this area joins, yeah. Gonna win no matter what. Unless the US pulls something out of their butt. Out of their ass. Cause literally after this, hopefully the AI is smart enough just to invade US. Cause me and Russia will take care of this, they'll take care of that. And the invasions would be begin. Because we'd be able just to invade and just take that. Anyone else that joins NATO would get crushed too. 
If I go to war with Saudi Arabia, I think they're part of their own group, actually, if I remember. Yeah, the Plateau Shield. And the shell. I can't pronounce that shit. Shield. Force. Okay, it's actually... So we're done with that. I guess we'll go... Destroyers next. Pump a huge amount of stuff into Navy. Research. Because I have nothing else to research. How about we start producing submarines too? Submarines, submarines. Should I have them come out with my best submarine yet? I'll wait till the final form of the submarine comes up. Wow, I'm actually seeing the end of my. Structure sucks here a little. Here and here. The rest is fine. Here. Now we'll do that for the, this area of Turkey. Yeah. It's an offense. It's Turkey's border. How much, how much rubber am I producing? I'm producing 80 rubber? Holy shit. I'm producing 80 goddamn rubber. That's all an insane amount. That's more than most rubber to be producing countries, I think. Actually, I'm actually up there and producing rubber. My uses and the uses of my allies when we go to war. I just have no steel production. That's the issue with my country. Zero steel production. So, now that we have done that, let's start producing our first submarines. So, we're gonna produce. We're gonna produce four. The irony of me canceling trade. I take them, I think I, I will definitely have a larger population than the U.S. I think it's up to 400 million at this point. I will have a larger population than the U.S. in most of the world. It'll be up at the top of the population. I wish I could convert this to core population. I would have so many soldiers. So many soldiers. And I'd be able to basically basically create an army the size of where I could rule this goddamn world because I have the power to because these small like a small country is able to produce an army of this size is impressive I control other bigger countries with my powerful military I think they're taking how are they how are they not dead 
They're just gonna disappear right when I smash in. They're just gonna disappear right when I smash in. They're just gonna run out of resources immediately when I start fighting them. Tank production, I remembered now. They get the new one. So for now, let's go with that. Mark one. This is Mark One and immediately was shooting on the back. So immediately they start smashing into me. She lost 19,000 right away. I mean, if they feel like trying to push through me, I guess. I only lost 18 to 37,000. Holy crap. Okay, I think they're weak enough for me just to push through. I don't even, I'm not even gonna waste. Yeah, so they just disappear. This is just madness. Pure madness. If they even tried to fight with their weakened armies. Yeah, look at that. We got 14,000 and we just started a war. They don't have any. They have zero. They have org. They have organization, but they still have the equipment to fight. So they lose their organization quick because they have nothing. That's going to be exploited. That's going to be exploited a lot. Revoke and then re-guarantee them. Two hundred forty thousand men that could be in my army. Kind of loss is ridiculous for this small, like this short war. Those are literally just. Yeah, yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah, see how everyone's going to be joining NATO and shit. It's going to pump the world tension up. See, they lost all that manpower for me. Those bastards. Those assholes. They lost me manpower. Manpower I worked hard for. So 
So, let's produce more synthetic oil. Oils, synthetic oils, 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 oils. Also, reactor, 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 reactor. Factories, factories, factories. I'm surprised more people didn't try NATO. That shocks, that shocks me a lot. So I guess we'll get on the border with Iraq. Let's cancel that. Let's the border. Yeah, and straight through. Just in case. I want to make it real now. Real tension is high as fuck. What would happen if I guarantee My yeah, it's 240 million, 240 million on four. Pretty much all of my military comes from non core, which is a sad thing for me. Oh, I got free dock here, it's sick. Yeah, everyone's starting to trade, starting to trade, uh, rubber. Someone get rubber for me. Yes. And all the factories to get. I didn't realize how powerful it is, the synthetic factories to get what you need. I didn't realize how good it was, because I'm going to be producing a huge amount of oil and rubber. And everyone's going to love me for that. Russia's increased its oil grabbing because it's gonna guess grab as much oil as it can for me. That's what it's doing. So I'm importing and exporting from Russia. What in the fuck? That does not make any goddamn sense at all. I need 80. I just don't understand it at all. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna go with it, I guess. This almost makes sense. Norway, Australia, and Sweden. I'm just Sweden is nice in the country. It's a good thing. Uh, what should I do about this world tension now? What can I do about this world? 
I don't think we're prepared for a war with Nathan. Quite yet. Well, it looks like... Actually, let's continue this episode. Let's make it up with these movies. This episode is the last thing that's going to I'm going to be producing a lot more synthetic oil over here. I was able to make them capitulate before. They, if I was able to make them capitulate before they were able to join NATO, I wonder why they do so much. Would they join the tenth? Actually, I think it's time to go to war with no other than the Plateau, Plateau, Plat something force. That is here. So if I can capture them. Well, because if we go to war with them, I'm we'll able to expand. Also, get more oil. Also, I won't be going to war with NATO anytime soon. Plus, sides with going to war with one, a faction that already has someone that is already a faction. All of them. They'll probably do another episode. I can. I'm gonna do this. Just to find more gold. I'm gonna crap. We're going to war. We're gonna destroy the other faction in the world. So there's only three factions. I might as well crush, crush the other one. And absorb them into a larger faction. So they don't have any power by themselves. They got a lot of trade influence, I bet. I don't think anyone's gonna come running to their aid. They collapse into the abyss and get absorbed. Using resources. Are you sure? I'll need one. No. What am I producing the meat side? One pack right there. There we go. I think I can cut back on a rifle sometime soon. Uh, able to arm my allies, I guess, with my rifles at this rate. So what does it look like for penalties on this huge stuff? They don't want me to have that, do they, right now? Yes, my only navy. So I'm able to produce one per month. Let's let's go into what I'm building here. Let's cut down some of these oil. Let's, let's make some more. Let's 
Let's just cancel these both. those things up to the top so I can produce a huge amount of subs at a very fast rate just cuz I need subs cuz I would like to have subs and a lot of subs actually not just some a lot not all of the subs The backups are good.
preparing for the worst. Two months. Both, and we'll, end, we'll declare war on one, and the other one probably call, call his buddy in, and then I'll be able to consume roughly, yes, yeah, most of the oil in the world consumed just like that. And plus, I'll be producing more oil with rubber. I'm gonna come when I'm gonna produce anything. Okay, actually, here. Screw it. I'll go. Okay, if you like this episode, please like, comment, subscribe.